What's up guys, it's Schneidy here, and today we are going to be doing a gameplay on one of these brand new Flash 9 packs. Now, these packs, like, they were good. They were pretty solid. No, they were definitely probably the worst packs we've gotten all season, but like, this season so far has been unbelievable. Like, there's been so much to do, so much to play, all that good stuff, but today I'm doing a gameplay on a card that could be one of the better budget cards in the game now i usually do gameplay on budget card do gameplays on budget cards and you're probably thinking is it lamar odom like i love this lamar odom card like i picked him up for 20k like i don't even know how much he is right now and it, this is not the card i'm doing a gameplay on because everybody knows about this lamar odom oh it's lamar odom oh it's lamar odom he's always cheesy in 2k which he is and he's fantastic i picked mine up for 22k super happy with that purchase and now he's gone up in value because so many people including HDB have made gameplays on this guy. He's gone up like 10k. So this card is unbelievable. But why is nobody, and I mean nobody talking about Tony Kukoc? This dude is one of the best. And he's like 7k MT. I picked mine up for like 8k or 9k, but like this card is so, so good for 10, or what is it, 9k? Like, he's a great value card for, what, now 8.5k? Like, that's crazy. Because just look at this man here. I picked him up for cheaper when um, nobody was really talking about him. Like, when I saw the stats of him this morning, I'm like, this card's insane. Tony Kukoc is a 6'10 small forward power forward like Lamar Odom. I don't think he's... I'm going to say this right now. I don't think he's better than Lamar Odom. But he's very comparable to him. So 99 offense, or 98 offense, 93 defense. Of course, six foot ten. But I mean, look at his stats. He, what are his stat like? His lowest stat is 80 or 75. That's standing dunk, and he's a for me, he's a power forward. So I mean, he really won't need to be standing, stand dunking for me. But like his defense, 85 down the line, very solid, good ball handling. Of course, gonna be a good shooter. He's got 50. Yes. 50 gold badges. Hoff catch and shoot, corner special, set shooter, bullet pass and volume shooter, and post playmaker. Like, catch and shoot and corner specialists are nice. But look at these badges on gold. Post spin, glue hands, diamond rim protector, pick dodger, chase hunters, clamps, interceptor, intimidator, posterizer, rebound chaser, blinders, limitless spot up. He has downhill quick, uh, quick first step handles for a day, space creator, tight handles, unpluggable sniper. He has every single badge, basically, that you need in a card like him. Uh, like, maybe back down Punisher. That's probably the one badge I'd give him. Besides that, he is near perfect. And that's right, he's near perfect in my opinion. Um, and like his release too, it's Brook Lopez base, which is one of the better uh, releases in the game. Uh, now, usually I love Brook Lopez base. I'm, if I'm being completely honest, this is not the best Brook Lopez combination there is out there. The upper is a little weird, it's, and it's a little slow. I'm going to say that. Like, I don't know why I'm not greening. I'm greening like 10 in a row earlier. You just have to hold it down a little longer. It is that little bit slow, but it's really not that slow. Like, if you know what I mean. Can he shoot from the corner? Like, his foot goes in a little bit there. Mm, he should be fine. But this card is great. I really don't know why I can't green more. He is a lefty, so it's usually a good release. His dunking, like, if you need him to go to the uh, paint, he'll dunk. Like, he's got posterizer. He's also got fundamental. Uh, that was just a blown dunk right there. So, he's going to dunk when you need him to, although I don't recommend rim running with him because it's probably not going to work out pretty well. But, like, he's going to be money from, like, the wings. I, I just, I don't know why I can't green. <laughs> it's, this green window is a little hard to find, but once you get, I think once I get used to it, I can be pretty consistent with it. But I mean, for 9k, I, I don't, like, it, this, the closest card to him is Lamar Odom, which is just a better version of him, or that uh, Darius Miles we got for um, Beast Packs last week. Who was in my team until I picked up this Kukoc. Kukoc is going to be a much better shooter. Although, looking at his release, I might like Darius a little more. But that could change. Again, going to be a good dunker going to the rim. And all around, just a very solid card. 
but also i didn't even go under six he's got a great behind the back it's the pro behind the back which is really good they made this pro behind the back one of the best behind the backs in the game like for me it goes pro three Kawhi. like this is a top six behind the back of the game you just create a ton of separation with it which is really good but enough talking about him again he can go in the post but no back down punisher is kind of annoying and as my voice just goes completely gone but he can go in the post if you need him to um so that is a factor and his post fade is slow but not the worst he's got a slow step back but that's okay because we won't be doing that much with him so let's green a three there it is now let's play some clutch time so yeah these packs like Opal Jordan is, like, not that good. Embiid's unbelievable. Chris Paul's not good. Like, Chris Paul, I don't know how that card's not a buyout. This Jeremy Lin card could come into my team. He looks unbelievable, and he might be my backup point guard. Like, look at those defensive stats. Like, dude looks really good. He does need some shooting badges, but... Okay, enough of me talking. Let's head into the game of clutch time because um, I am a little short on time here. I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to run him at the four because I do like Tatum at the three. See how he goes at the four. Uh, and yeah, so let's put him Ben Gordon and let's hop right into this game and hopefully we can get my 38th win. Um, yeah, so let's go. So he has got Devonte. Okay, not a good team. So this should be interesting. Yeah, he does not have a good team. So if he's doing those four pointers with Devontae Graham, dude, like I would give you the fours, but I am recording a video. I know every time I tend to make a gameplay, I run into people doing challenges. Uh, I give them the challenge every time. I, I hope you can trust me on that, but I do give them the uh, challenge they need every single time when they ask for it. Last night though, I was trying to do some Kirk Heinrich challenges and this bum, isn't letting me do challenges so i'm messaging him and he's like i'm i'm, a, I'm annoyed with giving people xp i'm like bro i was gonna give you the win anyways that dude was what the community does not want let's go right mm, at a wide open dunk yet he got uh bumps stolen by Devonte graham who was a terrible defender no way good defense there good rebound this aiden cart is just so so good Pull that in his face. Okay. Not a good start here. Should have him. Nope. He's screen at 10. All right. This guy does not seem to be like the worst player. But he has not put in any settings. Don't tell me that's a charge. Thank you. Bro was just chilling right there. That had to have been uh, blocking. All right. He's got Aaron Gordon on me, who is a good defender. Have him go into the screen and go right by him. Right to the rim, that should be a foul. Let's go. All right, so he's not the fastest. He's got fundamentals, so he does get a burst, but he is not the fastest, so I'll say that much. His free throw release is very easy to time. His challenges, I think I just saw points. Uh, I don't know what points he needs, but... All right, let's see how he plays these corners, though, because that was not a great start there. All right, we're there. Okay, except, why did I run away? That was my fault. That's all my fault right there. I'm down by four. That was a four-pointer. Or, I don't know what that was. All right, come on. Right to the rim. That was not a wide, that was not a very late. I'm sorry to say that it was not. Oh, he's jumping. Come on. I don't know why I'm struggling so much here. This guy's actually not a bad player. Oh, wide open. Jalen Brown for three. He's not missing. Come on. All right. We'll just spread the ball or spread the wealth is what I'm trying to say. Um, watch. That's not going in. Boards. Good rebound there by Ku Coach. And we're running. And we're running. I see Tatum. Oh, get that first. Right to the rim. Right to the rim. Ooh, tough layup there. As we take the lead. Get back on him. Okay, that's not going in. Come on. Rex Chapman ain't got it like that. Let's see if I can get a pick and fade here with Ku Coach. See if he's gonna um, help off on that. 
That should be. That's on a seven. And I got a lag spike. What am I doing? Get it to Tatum. Wide open three. I mean, <laughs> out of all of my players, he decides to leave open. He leaves Tatum open. But he's literally clamping up my Ku coach. Like, come on, man. Steal. Oh my gosh. I was just a second late there. That's not going in. This guy's not very good. He's actually a pretty solid defender, but go right to the rim. Please take that dunk without getting blocked. Nice dunk. Trying to get a three here. Get back on defense. Come on. Okay. I'm a little confused about what this guy's doing here. Um, I need to score more with Kukoc. I had it for a second. Come on. Open three. That's open three with Kukoc. And he knocks it down, hitting the white. There's his first three. Nine points here for Kukoc. Up by nine. We're playing pretty well here after that rough start. Uh, again, the guy is not in the greatest team. But, I mean, this Aiton grabs literally every single rebound. He is such a beast. Open three again as I miss. Okay, and he's fouling. And we're going to the line here with Tony Kukoc. This box score is about to be terrible. Because he is literally deciding to clamp up Kukoc, the player I want to do a gameplay on. And it's kind of funny. I have three number sevens on my team. As he's calling a timeout. Oh, I've played this guy before. Skywalkers. Yeah, I know. I noticed that name. I played it. I think I might have played him while doing challenges before get into that zone. Let's not choke this lead here. That would be atrocious. Good defense so far. Yeah, this guy's just hucking it up with, you know, uh, Devonte Graham. Can you not foul though? Like, I like you not to do that. Now he's got Devonte Graham cold. Most of our points at the free throw line here. We have a couple layups, only one three-pointer. Not the ideal gameplay. Recently on my gameplays, I've actually been playing terrible. <laughs> like, I have been playing so badly. He threw it to Tatum's hands. We should have Kukoc here on the trail. Stop fouling! Bro, come on. Can you play? Play this out. I'm not gonna give you points. Come on, dude. You don't have to be like that. Nope. Dude, please don't quit either. I don't want him to quit. Stop fouling, please. You are not doing this right now. All right, he's gone. He's, I'm pretty sure he just quit. Because that... Wait a little bit. But I'm really starting to get annoyed here. Because he might actually foul me. I, I really hope... Oh, this is annoying. This is really annoying that he just keeps fouling. Like, I'm not gonna give you the win. I'm sorry. Shoot it, I don't care at this point. Please stop fouling. Don't foul. That, I don't know what the hell that was. Wide open, you, you can't miss that. I don't know why I can't green with this card though. For some reason, I'm struggling to green his release. I should get it eventually, bro. <laughs> uh, Kukoc has 16, and he quit. I just need to make sure. That was an atrocious start to use that card. I, ca I actually don't have enough time to go into another game, unfortunately. So this card, this uh, gameplay is either coming out around 6.30 or um, midnight, probably. And of course, not getting Kukoc. Um, but yeah, he's good. He is good. I just played like garbage with him in that game but for like eight and a half k like you really can't go wrong with this card like he can do everything like he was playing defense he was rebounding extremely well he can move and he's also huge in game like you saw him there he looked massive so yeah i'm really excited to use this card what is his xp i have done two of the rubies by the way just get this xp done this might be the easiest xp we'll get all year like this is so easy I don't know how I've gotten 16 with Kukoc in single player games because I just played uh, Clutch Time. I'm not going to complain though, but like the hardest challenge here might be like I'm not doing the Opals because I don't need to spend that on the Opals. I'll probably get the Lin, but like Lin needs 10 rebounds. That's I mean, it's, you put in two midget point guards and you're fine. Uh, 50 points with Lamar Odom. 
that's very easy. Points, easy. Steel, like, that's probably the hardest. Lou Williams is definitely the hardest. But they maxed out his defense, so I don't think it'll be that bad. Villanueva, that's one game. Carlson, that's one game. Or multiplayer, that's probably two games. Depending on if they let you get assists. And then there's all of this other, like, <laughs> 2K. Even though you didn't bring out a free card, this was a great weekend. Uh, let me just see the challenge for the pack. What is that? I do have to get my limited ring, too. Uh, three steals of the team. All right, that's doable. So, yeah, that is going to be the gameplay. Uh, I should hopefully maybe get out a video, another video tonight, but we'll see. So, please subscribe, like the video, and tell your friends about it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.